I start with a, uh, of course, the blank. You know, it's just blank, and I put on uh, thin layers of, of color, and I apply it and let it just sort of run run down the canvas on its own, and see if I see anything there. I might hit it with more tint until it's just a start, but all it really is is a ground. It's just a primer, but it's a primer of color. I always try to find the man on the horse and try to bring it out, as opposed to illustrating it in. It's the paint talking, it's, it's there already. Moves quickly. And it's free. And then with a, with a little, uh, with a medium with a little more volume, I might uh, hit it with a sponge or I might uh, throw, just throw, throw paint. Uh, I might hit it with a uh, um, paper towel. Uh, and then you have to give it time because then it, it transforms itself. It runs and the colors blend and, and it takes on different places and it builds up in different places. Some of it I'll just let run on its own and see what it gives me after that. It's not till the, till the next day that I actually begin to work after it's taken on some, you know, some dryness, you know, and it's a little more stable than, than the initial grounding. And if you know what you're doing with the medium, like just keeping your colors clean and knowing what to build up with and, and having that, uh, then, you, then you, you and the paint can say something together. So you develop that relationship with your medium. And it doesn't just become a device that serves your vision. And I like it because it's it's so Indian. Warriorism is a way. I've never known the warrior life. You know, I've never known what it is to go out there and try to bring down a two-ton beast with nothing but a spear. I've never known the severity of existing through a, a real northern plains and mountain this winter, uh, you know, with, with just natural materials. You know, I've never had the whole responsibility of survival of a community placed on my shoulders. And to walk that thin line in a manner of honor, I've never known that, but I can imagine what that might be, that must have been like. A lot of my subject matter is, is the landscape and, and serenity. But in that serenity, of course, uh, in the, the old days, you, you existed with the severity of whatever season that you were living in. What do you want out of imagination? What do you want your world to say that you're trying to get at? See, really, that's all I really am as a storyteller. Even though those stories that I tell with, with paintings are, are way out there, you know, they're way out there in my imagination, but in my paintings, my mountains are alive. You know, the wind is alive. All of these things around these people that have placed in these compositions, I want to have a, a life rhythm. You know, I want them to, to feel what that day feels like. It's never like that, but if it evokes those passions of life and people, then I'm doing my job as an artist. <laughs>